Texas Mayor Latoya Cantrell fires files two lawsuits challenging the court's judgment to lower the threshold of signatures needed to trigger a recall election. As Natasha Robin reports, lawyers for Cantrell saying the Secretary of State broke the law. We don't know what happened. All we know is that eventually a number came out. And that's what we have a problem with. Attorneys for Mayor Latoya Cantrell filed two lawsuits in state court, alleging Secretary of State Kyle Odwin should not have made a deal with recall organizers. There's no room in the law <laughs> for a front room deal or a back room deal or a deal. One lawsuit filed in Orleans Civil District Court seeks to vacate the final judgment in the case that moved 25,000 voters from active to inactive, which lowered the threshold of signatures needed to trigger a recall election. The mayor's attorney, Marone Floyd, says the deal reached by both the Secretary of State and recall organizers was illegal, claiming Odwin had no legal right to change the number of active voters in the middle of the recall effort. On the date when the petition was filed, the number was frozen. However many e electors there were in Orleans Parish, that's the number you bring forward. The lawsuit also claims reports of Judge Jennifer Medley signing the recall petition before she presided over the case showed she had a vested interest in the outcome of the litigation and failed to disclose that she signed it to the litigators or the public. Full disclosure, um, we had a right to know at that point that the judge had signed. Now, maybe we could have done something differently, but we were not knowledgeable at the time, and that's a point which must be explored. Floyd says he filed a second lawsuit in Baton Rouge, asking the court to order the Secretary of State to follow the law and show by what authority he chose to reclassify 25,000 Orleans voters as inactive. That's what a writ of mandamus is. Public official, do your job. And I get it because it does seem to be a very arbitrary number that Ardoin pulled out of the sky to say it's 25,000. How did you get to that number? And that's what they're asking him to show. Fox 8 legal analyst Joe Responti says it's possible the two lawsuits could be joined at some point. It may not be significant that there are two separate lawsuits because it's surrounding the same set of facts. They may be joined in some form later. The Secretary of State's office tells Fox 8 it's reviewing the filings and have no further comment. Bill Roussel, Mayor Cantrell's longtime advisor, believes the lawsuits are necessary. It's necessary to protect the voting rights of other people of New Orleans. If uh, the Secretary of State can reduce a number that we don't know how it came to, but this particular recall, he could do it for something else. Floyd says he's hoping to get a hearing on the lawsuits later this month or early April. Meanwhile, the register is supposed to have the recall signatures counted by next week. Natasha Robin, Fox 8, Local First.